Hello and welcome to the course. We're very glad you've decided to take this course. Let me give you some of the context. The main source of capital available for mid-sized companies throughout the Western Balkan region is mostly through banks by obtaining lines of credit, bank loans and other forms of debt. Other sources of capital are either in very low supply or in some cases not really in existence. The private equity market in the Western Balkans is still at quite an early stage of development, although there have been deals done consistently over quite a number of years, but these have not been very many. We expect this to change in time as private equity funds look to expand their portfolios and their geographic reach and as the Western Balkan countries continue to develop. Therefore, it's important that mid-sized companies who are seeking equity partners are able to make use of an ecosystem of service providers who can adequately help them prepare for such an investment. And that is the central reason for this course. So the objective of our course is to help develop the capacity of service providers and advisors to assist growth stage mid-sized companies to raise the capital necessary to fund their growth and future expansion by helping them to become, as we call it, investment ready. So we'd like to welcome you to the course once again and congratulate you on deciding to take this course. So the primary and central objective of this course is to empower advisors of to middle-sized companies to be effective in assisting their clients to secure investment. And what that means is that the advisor will need to develop a range of skills and experiences which will help him fulfill that function. And in order to do that, we have designed this course. And the central building blocks, which are going to be needed by advisors to become effective advisors to middle-sized companies, is going to be based upon the four following things. A good understanding of how private equity, the private equity market works and how private equity funds approach investments. Secondly, a good handle on financial analysis and particularly understanding how private equity funds conduct their financial analysis and what are the things they specifically look for. Thirdly, advisors should get a good understanding of the so-called exit driven valuation approach of private equity funds. Private equity funds plan to invest in the company for an economic cycle of perhaps three to seven years and then sell those companies. And this perspective drives their approach to the valuation of a company. And it's important to understand how that works because it is quite different from uh, the classical approach to valuation. And thirdly, due diligence. Private equity funds are very strict in conducting their due diligence and will also what, see if it's easy to do in a middle-sized company. And that's why the idea of doing a sell-side due diligence is so important because that provides a kind of roadmap and makes private equity funds more willing to explore an investment. The course is an online course. It's self-paced. And so um, any person studying the course can study each week at the times that suits their schedule. So there's a lot of flexibility there in this course uh, for people who are working uh, and busy. The basic structure of the course is 10 modules. Each module will uh, discuss a particular theme or topic. It is possible to um, take each module independently from the other. Each module is self-contained, which means that you don't have to finish one particular model in order to be able to do the next one. But we do recommend that you follow the suggested order. And at the end of each model, there will be a multiple choice test in order to confirm that uh, you have under indeed understood the concepts presented in the module. We're going to be spending a lot of time uh, and, and uh, uh, we're going to look at a lot of cases in order to understand how the private equity investment cycle works. And this chart is a summary of that. We could break down the investment cycle of a private equity fund into four, four, into four steps. When they look for investments, it's finding investments, making the investment, managing the portfolio or the company after they've made an investment, and finally exiting their investment. So firstly, finding investments. Private equity investors, for them it's important to be known in the market because they will have a reputation in the market and they will attract potential people interested in receiving their investment. 
The approach of the proactive funds is that they like to have a dialogue with a number of investment opportunities, and they call this a pipeline of investments. So if you are advising a client, you should be aware that the proactive fund is going to be talking to quite a number of other potential investment opportunities in parallel to you. And the way in order to make uh, improve your chances is to do all the things that we're going to be suggesting you do in the course. Product investors like to be able to do an efficient screening. It means that they want to be in a position that they can look at a company, uh, uh, financial statements and some basic information about the company and decide very quickly, do they want to pursue this or not? And if you're an advisor and you can make this easy for them, they'll be more likely to look at the company. When we talk about making investments, um, evaluation needs to be agreed and this has to be realistic and it's important to understand their approach. Private equity investors like to structure deals that it can be quite complex in order to solve problems. And this should not be something that should frighten or deter an advisor to a company seeking investment. Private equity investors are very good negotiators, but they're also human. And we're going to give you some tools to enable you to uh, better engage with private equity funds in the negotiation process. Managing the portfolio, private equity funds are not passive investors. As, a, as one of the shareholders of a company, they're going to get involved. That is some of that is going to be import, in, improving the quality of the accounting of the company and in, implementing reporting systems. They're also going to support the company's development by using their connections and network. And they're also going to want to have a say in the management by sitting on the board and, have, and engaging in other activities. Finally, the product fund is going to want to exit their investment and their main options are going to be selling the company to another company, putting the company on the stock market, or some in engaging in some kind of financial restructuring. And it's important to understand uh, how these work. Um, the Private Active Fund, uh, you should expect, will also be wanting to talk about exit, even at the beginning uh, when they make the investment. So that will be part of the deal structuring at the beginning. And so we're going to be covering all these in great detail during the course. An effective and successful sell-side due diligence performed by a company can be the single success factor that allows them to receive private equity investment. So any advisor to a middle-sized company who knows exactly how to execute a sell-side due diligence will be a successful advisor to the company. This is the single most important factor that can attract private equity investment among other things. Private equity investors will be conducting their own due diligence but having a sell-side due diligence performed before that can make a huge amount of difference. And this is where the role of an advisor can be absolutely essential for the company. So this is the course structure. It consists of 10 modules. And all these modules have been specially created, bearing in mind um, the role of a sell-side advisor, uh, so a professional who is going to be working with the middle-sized companies, but the course is also accessible to other parties, such as the companies themselves, or indeed other kinds of investors. In the first module, we're going to give an overview of how the private equity market works, and we want to get you to understand how private equity fund managers really think. And that's what we're going to do in module one. In module two, we're going to explain how the investors expect their money to be used, Everybody who puts money into a company wants to know how it's going to be spent. They're going to put in controls and they're going to expect it to be spent on certain types of things. And we're going to explain that to you. Thirdly, we have to sell the company. Private equity funds are looking at different opportunities in parallel and creating an investment teaser. So a very simple one or two page document highlighting the main selling points of the company will help to capture the attention and the interest of private equity investors. So it's an essential part of marketing. Marketing is an essential part of the private equity process. Module four. It can be daunting to negotiate with private equity fund managers. They're very skilled financial professionals and very uh, able negotiators. And here we're going to give you some tools to help you to be less intimidated, perhaps, or to be more confident in negotiating with private equity funds. In module five, we're going to look at financial statements and financial analysis, particularly from the point of view of private equity funds. For private equity funds, for example, EBITDA is one of their central, most important metrics. In module six, company valuation, we're going to explore the exit driven approach to valuation because a private equity fund, when he makes his valuation, thinks about the exit in a few years and works backwards from that. So it's a very particular approach and you're going to have a good understanding of this after this module. 
In module seven, we're going to be exploring how buy-side due diligence works, and just as importantly, how to organize and arrange a sell-side due diligence for your middle size uh, company client, and how to make sure that maximizes the chance of a successful deal. In module eight, we're going to explore some of the typical private equity deal structures. These can be complex, Private equity fund managers like complexity because they use it to solve problems, and uh, advisors should not be intimidated by that. They should engage with the private equity fund manager and understand why these complexities are there in place. Module 9, the term sheet. This is the central agreement that any private equity fund manager uses as a roadmap to close successfully the deal. Term sheets can be quite complicated, and they contain many things that people may not expect. Finally, in Module 10, we're going to give you an idea of what the private equity fund expects after the investment, what role they're going to have in the life of the company, and how they're going to behave, because this can often be a source of misunderstanding on the part of the companies. We very much hope that you will um, enjoy your course. Um, this course has been uh, prepared by um, people with a background as private equity fund managers who've invested in, in several companies and worked with entrepreneurs. So it's based upon uh, a good practical applied knowledge and, and also knowledge in the region. And so we hope that that's going to come through in the course and we wish you all the best of luck. I would like to thank the World Bank for allowing me to share this uh, version of the course with you. Uh, the course was developed by myself um, with the help this year and they're going to be putting that on their own website in due course, uh, but it was very um, kind of them to allow me to put it on my YouTube account ahead of that. Secondly, I would ask you to very kindly uh, indicate your approval of the course by clicking the upvote button and very importantly subscribing to my channel. Um, I need this to continue in order for me to continue releasing further versions of the modules. So thank you very much and see you in the next module.